So we are still working on the post-apocalyptic, you know what I'm trying to say, post-apocalyptic, that's it, classroom. And I'm going to get to work on the ceiling right now. So I'm just going to focus on that. There's other stuff to do with the windows and the doors and stuff, but let's, uh, let's do a little bit of work on the ceiling. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get rid of that. And... Uh, I'm going to turn off the floor and control seven. I'm looking from the bottom now. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start splitting this up. So there's two, three. Just choose a number that's six edge loops. I think I'm going to go for eight. So I put in eight. That gives me nine. Actually, what if I go for seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This gives me eight spaces. All right, so I want to add seven, so I can just do this, and I can type seven. Or did I want to type eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven gives me eight spaces. Yeah, like that. All right, so these are going to be my ceiling tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press A to select everything. I'm going to go into face selection. I'm going to press I twice, pull in, and then I'm going to use the, the uh, menu here. And I'm going to go for about 0. Point, let's try 0. 0.15. Let's just zoom in. These gray areas are going to make the uh, the borders essentially the metal borders and the orange areas are going to be the tiles. I think that's okay. I'm going to uh, that's fine. And right now with that stuff selected, I can press P, separate by selection for the moment. All right, so those are going to be my tiles. Let's just hide that. And those are my my borders. Okay. I'm going to press 1 to look from the front. Just looking right on it. I'm going to go into edit mode. A to select it all. Zoom in a bit. Press E to extrude. I'm going to pull up just a little bit. Something like that. X faces. I don't need the top faces. So I have this. Let's just double check now the face orientation. So... This is in the room. We're going to look up, and obviously the faces are not going to be there. I'm going to add a bevel. Zero point, let's see, zero point one or something. Let's try shade smooth. I'll leave it for like that for, for the moment. Um, now, the next thing I want to do is, let's, let's bring back those. Let's bring those back, and let's move them to where I want them. Okay, I'll go into edit mode. You can do it in object mode. I'm going to pull them up a little bit. Actually, it might be easier to see here. Pull them up a little bit so you see a little bit of the border there. Something like that is okay. I'll do this first. Um, this is just a single plane right now. It's blue that way, and it's red on the other side. But I'm going to add a solidify. And actually, it would be better if I could just look at those and think about how thick I want my tiles to be. I think I'm going to make them a little bit thicker. So that's 0 0.03. Let's go 0 0.04. See what that looks like. That's probably okay for the ceiling tiles. So with that on the whole thing, I'm now going to go in, select them. I'm going to press 7 to look from the top. And I want to be able to delete certain ones of these individually rotate them and i might put a pattern on each one i'm not sure you know like those sometimes you see those little holes in in these ceiling to drop down ceiling tiles i'm not sure about that so it, it'll be easier if they're separated and i can do that so the way i'm going to do this is there's a whole bunch of them so i'm going to press p and i'm going to choose separate by loose parts this time instead of separate by selection and that'll do all of them and now in object mode i can just select you know, individual ones. It's done them all. All right, I've got a whole bunch of them. And ideally, what I should probably do is with them selected, okay, I'm going to create a new collection and I'm going to call these panels. So I've got those. And I'll adjust where I'm going to put that stuff later. Okay, so I've got the panels and I've got that. I want to focus on that. So there's my room. Actually, let's go back for a moment and have a look at, at what I'm getting at here. 
and I'm going to change for just for now to that because it's a little easier to see. All right, so those are my ceiling panels, and like I say, I can focus on individual ones. Um, well, in fact, I'll, I'll do a little bit of this, and let's say I decide to get rid of that panel. I don't want you to just be able to see out into space, all right? So what I'm going to do is select my, my border thing here, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to select an edge that goes all the way around it, like that. I'm going to shift D to duplicate, pull it up, P to break it out. I'm going to focus just on that, look down from the top, go into edit mode, one for vertex. And I have all these extra vertices from, from the borders. So I'm going to box select those, hold shift, box select those, hold shift, get those. I just, I want to keep the corners essentially. And those, and I'm going to dissolve vertices. With that done, I'm going to E to extrude and pull up. I'm just going to create a box and F to make a face. This box is going to come down in a minute so that when you look through, you'll see the inside of the box. But right now, the polys are flipped. So I'm just going to select it, Alt N, flip. I don't, I'm not planning on putting thickness on this. I'll just show you what it's going to be like. And it doesn't necessarily have to go up that high uh, by any means. I'm just going to pull that down. And you're not going to see the edge. You'll be in the room like this. But now you can see you can see the box. And so let me get rid of a couple of these. And I'll even I may make some of these actually light up like lights, or maybe they were all lights. I don't know. I can come in here and I can select say that edge, Shift S, cursor selected, and turn on my the pivot to 3D cursor, rotating the Y and have a few of these panels. That's why I wanted to give it a little bit of thickness. Uh, some, And I mean position it a bit differently. Maybe that one's hanging down. And I'll do another one hanging down, maybe over here. Let's come in, let's do it on the other end. So, uh, yeah, come on in, select, let's see. Sometimes it's a little tricky with, um, yeah, okay, that is selected. Yeah, okay. And that, and I got my pivot there. So rotate the Y and have that hanging down like that. Uh, we could uh, we get rid of a few more. Let's cut cut one. So let's just take this and go into edit mode and K with the knife tool and do this kind of thing. Uh, let's go there. Select that and faces. So that's gone and you can see into the room. And I can still just you know, move that around the way I want it. And maybe not like that. And I was thinking you could also take uh, one of these. We'll go back to median point and do stuff like this. You know, slide it along, maybe move it up a little bit, and maybe rotate in the Z, you know, have them like that. And then on the inside, I might take this down a little bit. This would represent like the next floor. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring my 3D cursor there, but I'm going to hide that. So now I'm looking just on the top, and you would do some pipes. Now, I'm not going to do them in any detail right now, and they, they may not be very visible anyhow, but I'll just do something here, just so we get the idea of, of what I'm going to be going for. Pull that to the end, and bring it down. Maybe there's another one beside it that's narrower, scale shift Y. We can do that. We can do another one here. You know, you can do all kinds of, of, of stuff. So, yeah, let's just shade smooth all that. I'll do something a little bit better than that. Let's just uh, have a look at that. You know, so you can see some pipes through there. We could also do, let's hide that. We'll do a curved path. 
take this and uh, let's see uh, I would just have to decide how I want to do this various wires hanging down as well you know obviously I would hide them in the right way all right so that is the general idea of how I would do the ceiling it would be very dark in there you probably won't see very much and obviously I wouldn't have it like this but just I'm just giving you the, the sense of how it potentially could be you know that kind of thing all right, so uh, I will probably keep this, but we'll do some more broken ones and some more bent ones, and we'll come back and we're going to do, I'm gonna try uh, doing the blinds on the windows and see if I like that. We'll go on and we'll do some kind of a door that is appropriate for a school. Uh, the chalkboard, we're gonna do a little bit of debris, some paper, uh, some books around there. I may come back and look at the open book uh, and that is going to be it for the modeling and then we're going to damage some of this throw it around and we'll start working on textures all right so hopefully uh, you're liking the scene so far and you'll come back for the next part